Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add your print version book into CreateSpace. It's real, real simple and it doesn't cost you anything to do. So as you can see, I'm logged into my CreateSpace account here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on add new title. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to add a book using that sector five book that I uh, just got done formatting for print that I did in my previous YouTube video. So the name of this book is called Sector 5, and it's going to be a paperback. I'm going to go ahead and use the guided tour. Go ahead and let it work. So the title is called Sector 5. The subtitle is The Battle for Earth. And the author of this book is actually named R.J. White. And I'm just going to leave this authored by here. And... It's edition one, the language is in English, and I'm just gonna set today's date as the pub publication date. So I'll go ahead and save and continue. Now, they give you options for an ISBN number. Now, you can select a free CreateSpace ISBN number and it won't cost you anything, or you can do a custom ISBN, and if you do a custom ISBN, you can actually name the publishing company whatever you want. Personally, I do custom ISBNs because I put all of my books under the Wolf Empire Publishing Company, but a free CreateSpace ISBN is perfectly fine. Uh, you're going to make just as much money with your CreateSpace books by using a free ISBN as you would with a custom ISBN. Um, the custom ISBN is more of just a, an ego thing. I like to put my own publishing company name on all my books. So what you'll do is you'll go ahead and click Assign Free ISBN. You'll click that and it'll give you the ISBN number. Now, I'm not going to actually do that in this video because I've actually, I've actually already got this book published to create space, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but that's what you'll do. You'll just check that and it'll give you an ISBN number for the book. So now I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the interior. And for interior, you can see the trim size is set at 6x9. When we edited this book a couple minutes ago, we edited it to be 6x9, so it's already set to the correct size. However, if you're doing a different size, you just Choose a different size. It uh, gives you little options here for the different size uh, book sizes. As you can see, 6x9 is under the most popular, and that's what we did format it to. So we're just going to keep it set on 6x9. Interior type, we're going to do black and white. There's no color in this book. And paper color, I like to do cream for fiction books. It's just personal preference. You can do white paper or cream. Um, I just think cream looks more professional on fiction books. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, come over here to upload your book file. I'm going to browse for that book file that we just created. And as you can see, I saved it as Sector 5 Print. And I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And then I'll click Save. And then it's going to say Working, and it's going to go ahead and upload this book. Now, uh, it takes it's real fast to upload, but then it takes a minute or two to process. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video real quick. And when it's done processing, we'll jump back. OK, cool. So we're back. Um, as you can see, it's finished uploading, and I can launch the interior reviewer now to see what the book is actually going to look like. Um, so it's going to go ahead and load up this interior reviewer, and we could just double check to make sure the book kind of looks like what we were hoping it would look like. So the front covers look good. You can see the table of contents here. And then the book starts and we can flip through it. Um, you know, our page numbers are showing up on the bottom. Everything looks pretty good to me. Of course, you're gonna wanna go through and really thoroughly review the book and make sure everything looks good. But I'm gonna go ahead and click on save and continue. And when it's done reviewing, the interior is complete. Now it's time to do the cover. So this is the cover I got back from my outsourcer here. It looks, it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and use this cover. So I'm just going to select the upload a print ready PDF cover because that's what I got back from my outsourcer. Make sure that when you outsource your covers, you ask for a PDF version because that's important. They only accept PDF files here. So I'm going to go ahead and click browse and I'm going to grab that cover from my desktop, which is right here and click open and click save and continue. Now it's going to go ahead and upload that cover and once again it's going to process that cover once it's done uploading and I'm going to once again pause the video when it's done processing we'll jump back. Oh, 
No need, it's already done processing. So once that's all done, you can go ahead and submit it to CreateSpace and CreateSpace will submit it to the review process and make sure everything looks good to start selling the book. After that, it will you'll be able to do a file review here and proof your book. Once, once it's gone through their approval process, you can actually order a copy of the book and make sure it looks okay in your hands. Um, you know, you can flip through it and make sure there's no errors with it or anything. And that happens once they approve it. Usually takes about 24 hours and then they approve your book. Uh, the next step you're gonna do is you're gonna come to distribute and you can come over here to channels and actually choose which channels you wanna distribute it on. Me personally, I just kind of leave it on Amazon, the Amazon.com, Amazon Europe and CreateSpace. Um, you can add other distribution channels if you want, but you have to pay 25 bucks to do it. I've never done it, and I always have good sales numbers. It's up to you if you want to have it distributed in more places than what you see here. But um, I don't really personally think it's necessary. That's up to you. So you're just going to hit Save and Continue down here, and then it'll let you start choosing the pricing of the book. Here we go. So what I typically do is it says the minimum list price for this title is five fifty seven. I typically price my books at about nine ninety nine. I like to keep it right under the ten dollar mark. And if you hit calculate, you can see what kind of money you'll make per sale. Every time there's a sale on Amazon, it'll make two dollars and sixty five cents. Every time there's a sale on Create Space, you'll make four dollars and sixty five cents. Amazon Europe, you make uh, point ninety nine pounds. Um, and 1.61 euros based on these uh, suggested retail prices here. So you can go ahead and click save and continue, leave those prices. And on the next page, it's gonna give you the options to fill out all the description information. You fill out your description here. This is what uh, is displayed on the Amazon description. Your BSAT category, this um, is where you choose the category that your book will fall under. This one is actually science fiction. So let's go ahead and click fiction. I'll find science fiction over here somewhere. Uh, science fiction. And then I'll just leave it, uh, I'll put it under adventure and choose this category. You can add an author bio, book language. I'm gonna leave that country publication is United States. And then you can pick five keywords. Kindle lets you choose seven. Create Space lets you pick five. So I'm just going to go ahead and put science fiction, uh, virtual reality, video games, uh, Star Wars, um, space battle for this particular book. Um, and then I can go ahead and click save and continue. This is my description. I'm not going to type a whole description right now. But you could put a description there for your book. And then it asks you to publish it on Kindle, which chances are you've already put your book on Kindle. And it won't let you do this step anyway until after your book is approved. So that's the process of putting it on CreateSpace. It's real quick. It's real simple. It costs absolutely nothing extra to do it. So once you've already got a book on Kindle, there's really no reason not to transfer it over to CreateSpace other than, you know, you got to make a, a back cover for your book as well. That's pretty much the only other extra step. You make a back cover, you do some formatting, and you're good to go. So it's really, really worth it. This has literally doubled the book income that I've been making. The money I was making on Kindle, this has doubled it by actually adding the books to CreateSpace. So I highly, highly recommend that you take whatever books you have and get them on CreateSpace as well. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped. I'll see you in the next one.